Okay, we'll play a quick game of You Only Knew. Okay. A role you regret turning down or not getting. Oh, you went right back to no, it! No, a regret turning down. Turning down? I don't have any regrets about things I've turned down. You don't? Oh, that's good. Yeah. Regrets? I've had a few. But then <laughs> too few. Right. Too few to mention. What always makes you laugh? My mother. Your mother is funny. She's unintentionally funny. In Pittsburgh. Yes. Unintentionally funny yes. is funnier. Yes, malaprops continuously. Yeah. Yes. Well, Yogi Berra. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Pet peeve. Um, uh, people who are late. Me too. An actor you'd love to work with. Oh, Tilda Swinton. Who is Tilda Swinton? Oh, she's an incredible actress. Yeah, uh, my mother actually got very excited to go see her at the museum in Pittsburgh. She called me very excitedly. She pulled strings and got an invitation to a VIP reception. Who's a historical figure you'd like to play? Oh, well, I guess I have to go with Grace Hopper, who I made the documentary about. Would she be a good movie? I, I think mean, a so. movie about her? Yeah, she had, a, she had a really interesting life and, you know, was a woman in an industry that was Was she just, married? She was divorced. Her husband married the woman who had been her maid of honor in their wedding. And she never spoke about it, and everyone assumed her husband died in World War II, and she never corrected them. And apparently she had a thing for much younger men, I have read, so. Uh -huh. I don't know about those romances. Did you play that well? Oh, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> if you could travel back in time, where would you go? Ooh. That's a hard one. Not a lot of previous eras that were great for women, so uh, maybe go all the way back to the Jurassic Age. <laughs> the last time you were starstruck. Meeting you. I have a new fondness for Pittsburgh. <laughs> An artist on your music playlist that might be surprising. Oh. Uh, my mother and I both really like Alice Coltrane, John Coltrane's wife who's an incredible musician. Your in strangest life. fan encounter. My strangest... Uh, there is a gentleman who has tattooed all of the characters of the community on his entire forearm. That shocked me. So you're on his forearm? Yes, the entire length of his forearm. Which He's I, walking around with you. Yeah. Very bizarre to me. The best. That's bizarre. The best <laughs> thing about working in Hollywood. Um, getting to meet really interesting, inspiring people. The worst thing about working in Hollywood. The rest of it. <laughs> you don't like the rest of it. Well, you know, it's like you go into this business thinking you're an artist and you're creating important work that's going to live on for the ages, and then you realize I'm in a business, just like, you know, making toilets. So it ain't, it ain't brain surgery. No. <laughs> you live in Koreatown. I do. Why? Uh, I have a fondness for uh, apartment buildings from the 1920s, and there's a fair amount of them in Koreatown. So I moved for my building. But does the air conditioning work? The, we don't have air conditioning. Not in a building in the 1920s, no. That would you have better window air conditioning? <laughs> yes, I have I have a little window unit. What's your most cherished... You're too young to have this, but what's your most cherished memory? Oh, my goodness. Probably the, the last time I got to be with my grandfather before he passed away. You were close to him? Yes, very close. What was it like growing up in Pittsburgh? Um, you know, looking back, there was a tremendous amount of arts going on there, which I didn't realize was unique or special for a sort of small Midwestern city. But I got to be in plays almost continuously from when I was eight until I graduated high school and go to see dance concerts and classical music. And so it was pretty extraordinary. It has a beautiful baseball stadium. They do. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.